Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm preparing a tender and juicy turkey roast. A roast can be prepared at any time of the year and it's a great meal for Sunday dinner. Let's start cooking. On the side of the screen is a list of ingredients that I'll be using to create my dish. In a small bowl, pour in some olive oil. Then add in your seasonings, Old Bay, onion powder, black pepper, chicken bouillon, and smoked paprika. Stir in these seasonings until everything is combined. You wanna create the right seasoning blend that works well with the turkey roast. I have some fresh basil that I've just picked from my garden. I've already washed this basil, so the next thing to do is to stack each leaf on top of each other, roll them together, and slice them into small pieces. Then add the basil to the oil mixture and stir. If the mixture isn't forming a paste or if it's too thick, then add some more oil and seasoning until you get the paste to its right consistency. The fresh basil, smoked paprika, and other seasonings that's in the olive oil mixture add tons of flavor to the meat. The olive oil helps to create a paste that will allow the seasonings to stick to the outside of the turkey roast. In a separate pan, add a few drops of olive oil into your baking dish. With a small brush, spread the olive oil evenly throughout the bottom of the pan. Then add in some freshly sliced vegetables. You want to create a bed of vegetables for your turkey roast to sit on top of. So place in your carrots. Your green bell peppers. Mm -hmm. 
your white onions. and sliced garlic. Now place your rolls directly on top of your vegetables. Now take your time and rub the seasoning mixture all over the turkey roast until every part of the roast is covered with the seasoning. Hey, real quick, stop what you're doing. If you haven't subscribed or pressed the like button, what are you waiting on? Press subscribe, press the like button, and leave a comment in the comment box below. Let's get back into the video. And don't forget to add the seasoning to the bottom of the turkey roast. And if you're curious of why the string is on the roast, don't remove the string because it helps the roast keep its shape and it holds the meat together while the roast is cooking. Preheat your oven on 375 degrees. You want to make sure your oven is nice and warm before you place in your turkey roast. Now the roast is coated with the paste. Poke a few holes in the roast so that the flavors will soak down into the meat. Then sprinkle some more smoked paprika on top of the roast just for color. Add a few drops of apple cider vinegar and water to the bottom of the pan just to have juice so you can baste the roast while it's cooking. Cover with aluminum foil and place the turkey roast in the oven for two hours. And for the last 20 minutes, remove the foil and let the meat continue to cook.
And this is how my turkey roast turned out. Allow the roast to cool down before cutting a slice. If you don't allow the roast to cool, then you'll lose a lot of that flavorful juice. This roast can be served with mashed potatoes, purple cabbage, and even cornbread muffins. Also, the leftover turkey roast can be made into sandwiches for the children. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Bye.